what's up what's happening what is popping what's going on you guys welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzards I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk so if you're new here if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel first of all what is you doing stop what you're doing leave a comment subscribe keep rocking with me also make sure you check out the links down below the first one is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel the second one is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzards a merch collection get you the classic tea, the wavy tea, or the Florida crew neck. And you also can shop that right on YouTube, right below this video on YouTube. But y'all, if you do not do anything else, turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. Turn the notification bells on. It's the holiday season. Jingle bells, holiday bells, notification bells. Ring, 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 ring. But y'all, let's get into it. It's Monday. Feeling good, feeling great. A victory Monday, 11 in one. This is our 11th Victory Monday or Victory Tuesday or Victory Friday, but day after Victory Day. We got a lot to get into. We have a lot to talk about. Yesterday, I gave you guys my instant reactions to the game, but now we got to dive into stuff a little more deeper. But let's start with number one. We talked so much about Jalen Hurst, Jalen Hurst, Jalen Hurst MVP game. Let's look at his passing chart from yesterday against the Tennessee Titans. So yesterday against the Titans, 380 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, 29 of 39 passing. And just look, oh, look at all them green dots. Look at that. Looking like a forest. You know, looking like the aerial view of a forest. Spread around, covered, smothered, smothered. Jalen Hurts threw that ball all around the field. Spread that ball all around the field. Spreading the ball around like the flu, like COVID-19 in 2020. Spread it. Okay? So don't want to hear none of you. Remember last year they want to talk about, oh, he only can throw over to the right side. He favoring that side. He favoring that side. Ain't no favorites on this chart, baby. He got it covered. A blank period. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Don't you play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with Jalen, okay, period. Now, let's move on to some injury updates. Quez Watkins will be having an MRI today. He went out hurt late in the game yesterday with a shoulder injury. At this point, I have no clue how long he's expected to miss. They're being very vague. And usually when they're being very vague, it's not a good sign. They're being very vague about what Quez Watkins has going on. And I don't like that. Because usually when it's sure that like a player is going to be okay, they let us know like they're good. It, it's going to be fine. Um, but they're being very vague about how long Quez could possibly be missing with this injury. So I see a lot of people talking about OBJ, OBJ, bring OBJ to the Eagles. I know a lot of y'all are joking, but what do y'all think? What y'all think? I see OBJ to the Eagles trending on Twitter. What do y'all think? Y'all think we should snatch his ass right from up under the Giants and right from up under the Cowboys? Or is it Zach Pascal time? Let's see what he can do. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all think? Um... We definitely need all our Batmans. We need Batmans. Odell can be old Batman. Ah! What would y'all call Odell, honestly? What would he be? Old Batman? Yeah, old Batman. Old, old Batman. Like Odell. Old, old Batman. Old Batman. Dallas Goddard, he's eligible week 15 against the Chicago Bears. That's when Dallas Goddard will be eligible to come back. He has been looking good and probably will come back once he's eligible to come off IR week 15. So this could possibly be our last game without Dallas Goddard, okay? Avante Maddox is eligible this week to come off IR, but we're not sure if we're going to be elevating him. Just because he's eligible to come off IR does not mean he's fully healthy. Um, they're being vague with Avante Maddox, too. And the last thing that I saw was Maddox saying hamstrings are tricky, and hamstrings are very tricky. They're very tricky injuries because um, they can get re-injured so easily. So he's eligible to come back this week, but will he? Boing! Question mark. Moving on to the next point that I want to talk about. Let's talk about this D-line. Mm -mm. Feeling fine on the D-line. You know what I'm saying? The D-line going crazy. So let's talk about the snap counts a little bit. Jordan Davis made his return, only played six snaps. I like it. I love it. We dominated. Let him rest. 
We need him fully healthy for the playoffs, whatever, whatever. I'm glad he was able to come back and come back in a very limited capacity and that we did not need him to exert any more energy than he did. I love that. Um, shout out Jordan Davis. Javon Hargrave only had to play 28 snaps. Javon Hargrave, one of the best players on our defensive line. Versatile, dog, quarterback, go get her. Pressure. The de grave digger. Wow, that just shows how much depth we have on this defensive line. This game, we held the Tennessee Titans to 10 points. We held Derrick Henry to less than 40 yards. And Javon Hargrave and Jordan Davis only had to play 32 snaps combined. Look at that depth, baby. And Q, my, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Say it with me right now. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, y'all. Woo. The depth, the talent. <sighs> Chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about Nicobe Dean. Nicobe Dean has been quiet and silent on special teams. Looking real. And I like that attitude because all of a sudden when he got in on defense, he want to make plays and whatever. Keep that same energy on special teams. If you're on the field, ball out. Don't we act like you too good for special teams? If you out there, ball out, period, okay? N'Kobe Dean got in on defense. Um, he got 15 snaps on defense. Kaiser White did get hurt towards the end of the game, but Kaiser White was moving and mobile and fine on his own on the sidelines. They probably wanted to arrest him because at that point, the game was pretty much in hand. Um, but there should be no problem with Kaiser White injury-wise. N'Kobe Dean had five solo tackles, one assisted tackle, um, and 15 snaps look very promising um, in that time in the game. Now, TJ Edwards and Kaiser White are going to be free agents at the end of this season. Could we be grooming and should we be trying to get more looks at N'Kobe Dean in the event that we do not re-sign Kaiser White? I do not see any situation where we do not re-sign TJ Edwards as much as, much as TJ Edwards has just been his story with Philadelphia. We can't let him go. The way he grinded, the way his work ethic, his hustle, his mindset, he has earned. He has earned a contract. He has earned that. Kaiser White has been balling out, yes, but but TJ Edwards, his grit, his 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 dog mentality, his work ethic, he has to get resigned. Um, so we might be saying bye to Kaiser White and letting N'Kobe Dean take over there. The tight ends, Stole, Calcaterra, Jackson, they had one of their best days. Um, four for four as a group and 60 yards. Um, Calcaterra had a really big catch. Um, Y'all, now I can't remember if it was Stole or Calcaterra that had that big catch. I think it was Calcaterra that big catch with first down. Um, I want to say it was Calcaterra, but it might have been Jack Stole. Um... What's the last on my list? Oh, special teams, special teams, special teams. How can I forget about y'all? I was talking all that she about the special teams. I was talking mad she about the special teams. Special teams was looking good. Britton Covey had one of his best games um, yesterday. Um, Christian Elias got elevated from the practice squad and came in and balled out, made a lot of great plays for us. Um, on special teams. So shout out to them. We need special teams to keep that same and energy all season long, especially in the playoffs. Keep that same energy. But y'all, the energy is great. The vibes are great. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Yes, 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 yeah. Let me know how you're feeling down below in the comments. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with your girl. Check out the links down below. And until I talk to you guys next time, bye.